The Sudanese Journalist Syndicate says that about 80% of female journalists in Sudan have lost their jobs as a result of the ongoing fighting between the Sudanese military and the paramilitary rapid support forces. The organization says the conflict has displaced about 130 female journalists. CGTN's Chao Mugono reports. Inside the Al Tayar newspaper headquarters in Sudan, a handful of journalists are busy at work. They're among the lucky ones. Many of their colleagues are out of work. Several media houses were forced to shut down due to the conflict in the country that started in April. The Sudanese Journalist Syndicate says about 80% of female journalists in Sudan lost their jobs while hundreds lost their property. Insecurity has made their lives much harder as the humanitarian crisis in the country worsens. Um, I said, uh, Before the outbreak of the April 15th conflict, I was working in two institutions, Sudania 24 Channel as a producer for political and news programs, as well as the electronic newspaper Al Democracy. But after the outbreak of this conflict, I stopped working along with the entire staff of the two media institutions. The Gender Secretariat of the Sudanese Journalist Syndicate says about 130 female journalists were displaced from the regions. Dozens more sought refuge in neighboring countries like Chad. The April 15th conflict had a negative impact on the Sudanese journalists. This is the worst war in the world because it stopped all press institutions, that is the newspapers, radio and television. More than 90% of the journalists suddenly became jobless. The Sudanese Journalist Syndicate says four journalists were killed between September 2022 and September 2023. It added that 10 people from the journalist families were killed. The syndicate says this is the worst situation journalists have faced in Sudan since the 1940s. It says the conflict has resulted in thousands of journalists being declared redundant after at least 17 local newspapers, 12 radio stations and four local TV channels halted operations. Despite all these challenges, the journalists still working across Sudan are determined to continue reporting on the unfolding situation in the conflict hit country. Chamgono, CGTN.